All right, you might be a little shocked to see that we are finally doing chapter 6.1. Uh, that is because, in my opinion, solving by graphing was easy, and I did not want to start with the time that we have by uh, graphing. I figured it was easier to just use a whole week for substitution and a whole week for elimination and then finish it up before coming back to this because this really is not that bad. Uh, it is a very brief lesson with a high amount of class practice on the chapter or on the paper. So at the end of the hour, um, we'll take a six question quiz on Math Excel. You'll only be able to take this quiz once, and you will have to do it alone. So um, just be sure as I'm talking about this stuff uh, that you understand the information of the day by the end of the hour. Otherwise, it's going to hurt you on your Math Excel grade, and you won't be able to make it up. So again, just make sure that you are speaking up on anything that you're having issues with. First off, let's solve this using algebra. It's one you haven't seen a lot of, but it's definitely within your reach. There are two Y's by themselves, and we're just going to pick one to substitute for. That means this is going to go over here. If I write exactly what I see here, you end up with this turning into 2x minus 3 equals negative x plus 6. To move this x over here, we have to move it to the other side of the equal sign. Remember, use its opposite. So we put plus x plus x, which gives me 3x minus 3 equals 6. From there, we solve as usual. Add 3 to both sides, getting 3x equals 3. I'm sorry, 9, and then dividing by 3, we end up with x is equal to 3. Again, now that we know how to do this, we do not stop there. We now take this and rewrite one of my equations, y equals 2x minus 3, and we turn our x into a 3, which is here. Then you end up with um, y equals 6 minus 3, which means that y is also equal to 3, and my ordered pair is 3, comma. 3. That is the solution that we've learned to do. Now when it says solve by graphing, which is what this whole sheet is about, um, it means that you're actually going to use a graph to determine what the solutions are. And in order to do that, what I want to do is just kind of uh, draw this graph real quick of the information that we're dealing with so that we can get this kind of connected to what you're used to doing. Um, give me a second, I gotta fold some paper up real fast. But other than that, when we go to graph this, remember, and we'll talk about this more tomorrow, that this is slope-intercept form and that that negative 3 is telling me to go down 3 first. And just using the dot method, this tells me to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Remember doing that, up 2 over 1, and that would be the line that I have that I would use for that graph. The other graph tells me to go up 6, and then from there to go down, because remember that negative x is the same as negative 1x, so it's telling me to go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, and notice down 1 over 1 leads me to a dot that they have in common, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, and when you draw these lines, you recognize that these two lines cross at 3, 3. Now looking back at what you did earlier, and notice that this is the same equation that we just did that we solved using algebra and got the answer of 3, 3. That when we graphed them, we saw that they meet at 3, 3. And that is because uh, a solution by definition is the point where two equations intersect. So whenever you're asked later on to find a solution of a, uh, a system, and it's given in graph form, then you can just see where those two lines cross. And that ordered pair would be what the solution actually is without you having to do any kind of extra work. So before we move on to anything, pretty much the main thing is that you have to know how to write your ordered pairs correctly. And so that is the point of the lesson. So what we're going to do is just look at some problems real fast. I will try to give you an easy way to do it so that when you go to your Math Excel and you start answering these things, that you know what's going on. The first thing is you want to make sure you understand that this is where those two lines meet. And that the first thing you want to do is go across and get under it. Notice that the line that is under this is at x equals 2. And then it goes up 1, 2, 3. So pretty much your point is 2, because remember that's your x, 3. And that would be your ordered pair. For those of you who like to say 3, 2, be careful. Again, the first thing you want to do is get under the point where they intersect or over that point and then count how far up or down. So if you want to make sure, again, get under it, recognize that that's at 2 and then count your steps up or down and that gives you your second number there. Alright, looking at this one, here is the point where they cross getting above or below it, it's over here and notice that it's 
under the four so that means that's my first number and whenever I count I go down to which is actually negative two in that situation and so that's how you find the solution graphically again find the number that is over or under which is that first number four and then go down or up to find your second value looking at our third example again this is the point where they cross it is above this number which is negative three that's my first number and then notice from there I go up one which is a positive one so that would be the solution that I will put into the computer later on just like on this one the point where they cross is here that is below the number five and so that means that my first number is I'm sorry negative five and then from here to get there I go down one two three four so negative five negative four is the solution there so real quick before we get to the actual math XL um, this is what you're going to see on your quiz at the end of the day and I'd say it so that you can actually take advantage of every opportunity you have notice how small this is and if you try to count you might mess up on that but notice that they give you a um, magnifying glass up here some of your screens I don't know if it's as big as it's supposed to be but on some of them it's a really small graph and what you can do is you can click on this and it actually brings up a bigger image of this graph so you can get a count uh, so make sure that you use that to your advantage later on don't try to guess because if you guess and you guess incorrectly it's not going to help you uh, and then again you're gonna put your solution in that little box right there and again you only get one shot per try this is not one of those where you get to type it in and then it says that you're wrong and you try it again you have to make sure whatever you put into that box is the right answer because whatever you get at the end of this day is what you're going to get on your uh, math Excel grade so the main thing is just remember you want to locate the X value first so figure out how far over left or right you gotta go afterwards write that value down so you don't forget it and then count the number of steps up or down uh, so at this point come up and get your papers so you can begin your practice you can work together as long as you're not getting too loud or out of control uh, and keep in mind this is the fourth quarter now so if I separate you from a group or a person um, it's for the rest of the year so whatever I do with you today is pretty much what you're gonna have to do for the rest of the year so just make sure you make a good choice and do your job and everything will tend to work out but sitting and doing nothing also is not an option but like I said just make sure you come up get that sheet of paper and do what you can today so we can get some practice in good luck